Nappers, this is the Nap Queen. Let's nap nap and welcome back to another episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. In the last episode, we're told the location of the hematite, but we sadly have to compete against Uni in order to get it because she was also looking for it. After winning, Kay tells us the location of the mascot at last. We find out the mascot is very stubborn and also sounds like Neptune and refuses to leave last station, and then we were ambushed again, but this time not by Underling, but by a rat that has the hots for our fluffy nurse, Kampa. So, naturally, because he's an ASIC and we do not support bestiality, we beat him up, because the only way to deal with a simp is with violence. Nah, I'm kidding, don't take that, D don't take that to heart. Anyway, after the mascot lends us our power, we're finally now heading to Louis. I hope you're all ready. Guys, if you're excited to see what happens in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this playlist with someone you know who might be interested in this series. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, I did not really level up anybody after the last episode. I feel like level 20 is probably an okay level to at least get started anyway. There's a possibility that I'll probably grind off screen later on, in which case that won't take long at all. So, we left off. We are going to be heading to Louis now. No problems here. All right, let's head to Louis and see what's up. I'm kind of glad that we're doing Louis because, God, their shares look so bad. We need to fix that. Here I am, Louis, and I made it here first, so I win. You are so obnoxious, Red. Wow, it's so cold, but the scenery really takes your breath away. Louis is covered in snow all year. We should all buy some warm undies to keep the cold away. Only if we have time to spare. We need to gather info, pronto. I don't know, I think that's pretty important. You don't want to get sick on the job. I agree. To the guild then? No, straight to the Basilicon. I haven't heard anything bad about the Oracle here, so we'll be fine. That's good. Glad this Oracle won't be a pain in the ass like Kay was. Silicon's up this road. Look at ladies. Someone's making a real commotion. Let's check it out. We don't have time to get sidetracked, so huh? That's Let me guess. Yep. Step right up, folks. The fun and magical ASIC team is here to spread the good word. One question. In what universe would any organization that looks like yours seem even remotely trustworthy? Mice aren't really a problematic mascot. There's three very popular mouse mascots in the world. But it's not only your hood, it's your entire appearance. Join ASIC today and you'll get instant access to any and all games you want to play for free. You look dead. Why would anybody trust you? Sales pitch front work, passing out flyers and crap. Because you're the underling, it's your job. I wouldn't have gotten stuck doing this if it weren't for those stupid brats. Would you have preferred that we kicked your ass? Excuse me, are we the brats you're talking about? Kampa? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the dumb blonde chick, the transforming baby, the snob, and the wifey musclehead. Oh my god, imagine if Kampa just instantly corrected her. She'd be all like, Excuse you, Miss Underling, but I'm actually a strawberry blonde. Get your facts straight, bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Snob, huh? I didn't know that having proper manners came across that way. Uh, transforming baby? Do I really look that little... Nepgear, I think it's a figure of speech. You were pretty wimpy when you first met this chick. Wifey Musclehead, don't be hating just because you're not on my hit that list. Yeah, sorry, but I'm not a necrophiliac. Uh-huh. Hey, it's you all. Oh, what the hell? When'd you get here? How'd you find me? You're very obvious to point out in a crowd. We weren't looking for you, but this commotion makes you stand out. And now we can't let you get away. You've been a naughty girl, huh? I'm gonna have to punish you. Why do I get the feeling that you would enjoy doing that? Dude, this could be real bad. Hey, you! Stray kid! Huh? 
Don't move. You're my ticket out of this mess. Huh. You all better not try anything, or the kid gets it. Oh, hell no. When you involve children in your mess, that's when I get angry. You better let her go right now, you freak. Back to basics, huh? How cliche. Let her go! She has nothing to do with any of this! Shut up! ASIC's all about playing dirty, you know? Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Help me, Ram! What should we do? Miss Sunderling just kidnapped a little girl. How dare she lay her hands on such an adorable type? Is she planning a shotgun ceremony? Not on my watch! No, Red, only you would do that. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a literal child. I know that you're probably a minor, but the age cap is still not really okay. Yeah, let's go after her. I don't believe for a second that Red is 10 years old. Rome? Hey, Rome? Jeez, where'd you go? I said to stay right here. These children look like they're 10 before freaking Red. Hell, they look like they're not even at 10 yet. They look very young. I think before we do anything, we should head over to the shop. See if there's anything new. There seems to be an event here too, but let's see. So we have a light toy set. So this is a new toy set for Red. And here's the Rosie Sailor. This is going to be the colors of Louis for Nepgear's uniform. Unfortunately, we don't have enough. I'll have to show you guys another time. Just the toy set for Red. Let's give it to her real quick. So we don't forget. Not that it makes a difference. Her toys are invisible, so you can't see anything. Okay, so we do have a couple of sharpers. Who are you? Howdy, I'm Jimmy. Wearing costumes is my jam. Don't call me an otaku! You're a small little child. Toadie. I'm a mushroom hired to care for our runaway prone princess. Without her around, work is easy. I hope she stays kidnapped. I don't think anybody would condone that kind of language. Especially not in the mushroom kingdom. And who's this? Oh god, I don't know who you are. ASIC is needed for the kids. If they play games for free, I have... They play games for free and I have extra money in my pocket. Oh! off, lady. Oh, and here's Mario. I found a mushroom. Mamma mia! Okay. <laughs> there's my very poor Italian, my, my poor Italian impression again. So there's an event here. Let's see what it is. Evil mama. Not you again. Pirating is needed for the future of our children. It will force the kids to become resourceful adults. That's the trend these days. I think it's the opposite, lady. You got it wrong. I read about some really neat rumor on my chirper the other day. It said that there was a sword forge a millennia ago meant to defeat the Dia. No! No, not another one of these! Okay, okay, I can't believe I hit another one. Oh, hell no. Okay, note to self. If there is an event that looks suspicious, don't do it. Ugh, great. No, I can't believe I did it again. And at the start of the episode, no less. How embarrassing. Goodness, do you really think something like that exists? Maybe. What's weird is, no matter how much I research, there's no record of it ever being used. I wonder why that is. Yeah, me too. It's a pretty interesting story, don't you think? Let's assume such a sword really did exist in the past. Why wasn't it ever used? Why is it so ominously quiet? There is no music here at all. That proves that this is probably not a very good cutscene. There must be a really good reason. Good enough to keep anyone from using it against the deity of sin. Yes, I think it's interesting too. No, Nefgear! No, you stay away from this information! Do not pry! Please do not pry into it more, please! I beg of you. Well, if no record of it ever, ever being used exists, then maybe the sword itself never existed. Yes, listen to IF, listen to IF, just, just leave, just leave. You didn't hear anything. That's certainly possible, but wow, you're the party pooper of this group, are you? Shut up! I regret talking to you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure all the other chirpers are just, um, for 
the plans and stuff, be sure to talk to all of them. Don't skip any of them. I'm gonna skip them in the episode because they're pointless. Except Nepgear. Nepgear is important. Let's talk to her. It's really cold here in the way. I should have worn wool on these. Achoo! Poor thing. Okay, now I'm gonna skip. One more thing that I do want to talk about is regarding Stella's dungeon. I've decided to not do it while I am recording. I'll only do it when I'm grinding off screen or if I'm grinding away for any reason. So that's the only time that I will be using Stella because I don't really like how she continuously interrupts cutscenes by either making it back successfully or not making it back successfully. It bothers me, so I'm just not going to use it. Yeah, just wanna let you guys know. All right, with that out of the way, let's head over to the... Oh wait, one more thing. Guild, we gotta see if there's one thing that I recommend every single time that we have a new dungeon, except whatever new quests there are. You never know, you might be hunting the right monster. Okay, so let's head over to the Louis Global Expo. Over here? Okay, uh, why are we in an ice box? That is interesting. So Louis has expos inside of ice chests. Because this looks like it's not habitable for humans at all. Treasure set. Oh, that's interesting. Check it out. This is just a little fun fact, but if you see up there, that is the original art for Blackheart. This dungeon was ripped directly from Mark II, so when you see the original art of the CPUs here, it does make sense. This was the first art done of Blackheart before the Rebirth Saga was made. So it's kind of interesting. I guess they're advertising the other nations. I gotta check out my wifeies. Okay, I'm switching the leader. <laughs> I don't need to hear it. I don't need to hear it from you, Red. Well, there's the ice Fenrir. We're staying the hell away from that. There's no way we're strong enough to beat it. Good. Let's get this over with quick. It's a Koopo Kitty. Honestly, this is just me. It's probably because I'm a cat lover, but I think I would prefer uh, merchandise of a Koopo Kitty. The Koopo Kitty is one of the cutest enemies in this game, and I'd take a plush of it over a doggoo any day of the week. I know the doggoos are iconic, but come on, look at this little guy. Don't you just want to give him a hug? Before he dies. <laughs> It just looks like a very marketable plush. I'm the MVP! That could just be me, though. I don't know. It all depends on taste, I suppose. Okay, so this is the first dungeon where there is a next, which means this is the first dungeon where there is another area. And usually the next area in these dungeons have completely new mobs. Can I really handle this? Here's an so, example. Got some mini vaders. Polka dotted pixel vaders. Yeah. I'm just oh, skipping gosh. the animation because who wants to waste that time, right? I'm gonna get stronger. Well, Red is officially now caught up with everybody. Who cares? Oh, here's the original. Here's the original art for Purple Hearts. Oh, and another one of another one of Black Heart. Interesting. But yeah, that's the original art of Purple Hearts from when the first game came out. That was her first full body concept art. Unfortunately, you can't see her face because, well, it looks like the sign was frozen. Oh, hello. Let your guard down, what are these huh? things? What are these things? Why do they look like... They look like babies. They look like babies in tiger suits. What is this, the Teletubbies? This is terrifying. Get out of here. I feel like we're beating up children when we fight these things. So we're committing a crime. Nah, they're probably not children. I don't know what they are, but they're enemies here, so they must be hunted. Also, pretty good experience. 354. That's actually pretty good. It's definitely one of the mobs that I would probably use to grind. Oh no, another one of those things. My turn. It's called a bear... It's, it was called a bear balancer. It looks like a child in a tiger suit. It's not a bear. Never seen a striped bear in my life. 409, wow. That's the highest we've gotten so far. So we got some more plans. Oh, we do have menu voices. I'm not gonna do that, though, because... <laughs> I don't need it. 
actually need items. Yeah, we do have some things we can make. Let's make the eject button. Cannot add it to the shop and the anti-venom, why not? It's only, if, it's only, if it only takes one, one memory byte, it's not a big deal. Plus, always helps to have more items in the shop. So I guess any mobs that have these freakish little things, those are good ones to fight because these little guys give some decent experience. See how much this is. 454, yeah, you see? Alright, everybody. I think this is probably where I'm going to go off screen to grind a little bit. There's the event right there. So, super easy. So, I'm probably going to spend a majority of the grinding here. So, I will see you guys in just a second. Alright, everybody. I have returned and I was able to grind to level 25. I was able to grind five levels. Oh, also, if you notice that Red's experience bar is way more full than everyone else's, I actually found out something really annoying about Red when I was doing this. So, if you go over to the status, it turns out Red has a gained experience plus ability. And as someone who prefers to have the, the levels in her party balanced, and no side characters would be ahead of the main characters. That's gonna annoy me. So... I hate you, Red. Seriously. You're... You, you are so... I can't. I can't even. Also, just a little side note. Um, up here, I forgot to share, uh, show you guys that this is the original Greenheart. From the original game. So yeah, they advertise every single nation except Louis. Because this is a Louis stage. Okay, there. I'm not wasting time. Let's go. You let her go! Look at her, the poor thing! How could you not feel heartless kidnapping a child who clearly doesn't want to be here? Uh, shut up! Quit your crying! Damn it! I need to ditch this deadweight kid. Also, now you're going to ditch her after kidnapping her? What kind of morals do you have? Do you have any at all? I can't wait to beat the crap out of you if I'm going to. Halt! Oh, come on! Already? Let the kid go, and you can walk away from this unharmed. You nuts! This kid's my ticket out of here! Or are you gonna fight me when I got a tiny human shield? Underling, you get more and more unlikable with every single time that we see each other. I am going to beat you so badly that your entire skin will turn blue. Um, what? So, what was our plan again? Seriously? I don't think we thought very hard about this. Break. As for me, I think I packed one. Yeah, okay, come on out. You're using more enemies to fight in your place. You are an actual coward. That's your opponent for today. Just remember which of us has the upper hand this time. <laughs> what the goodness should we do? This looks bad, doesn't it? Yeah, man, how sloppy of me to run off without a plan. We can't fight Miss Underling as long as she has Miss Hostage. Should we just run away? No! We'd never be able to save Wifey Candidate Number 3 by running away. Red, that's a child. The situation is such a joke. I'll be the one you hear laughing as life fades from your bodies. Let Rom go now! Huh? From above? <laughs> you deserve that. Rom? Are you okay? Ram! <laughs> Ram! No freaking way! Another CPU? How dare you make Rom play hostage and make her cry! You'll pay, dummy! Come on, Rom! You activate HDD too! Let's beat this big jerk all the way to last week! Uh -huh. oh, what? What in the holy crap? Not one, but two more CPUs? This is getting so messed up. Well, I mean, it was obvious, but I guess we have our candidates for Louis. Though I don't think now is a good time to introduce them, so why don't we wait until after the battle? Oh, score! More wifeys to be! 
I'm gonna punch you. So those must be the CPU candidates of Louis. Nothing's holding us back now. Let's show these guys who's boss. Please, everyone, you lend better me your strength. Be oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! I'm I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you so badly. You're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to Leave eat. Let's get this going. I can go anytime. Processor unit set. Time to be serious. <laughs> I can't wait. So, who wants to get beat? Try to break our guard. Oh, we can't wait. Probably don't have to worry about it, honestly. Oh yeah, I think 25 is definitely a good level to fight this. This is, this is pathetic. Zero damage. I love it. It's my turn. Get schooled. Oh wait, I don't have any skills. Never mind. I'll just Not beat you the full. <laughs> I can't. I'll just beat you the old-fashioned way. This is my no our power. That was easy and very satisfying. I'll get you next time. Oh yeah, we're the best. What did you two do? We're the ones that fought her. The bestest. Everyone's all done, it seems. Whoa! They look so awesome in those outfits! Pretty much the ultimate score, finding twin wifeys. Will you shut up already, Red? I swear. Wait, who are these people? They tried to help me. Oh, really? But they sucked at it, didn't they? Big, fat failures, huh? Well, she called us out. <laughs> I mean, it was super easy to be underling, but the fact that no one had an idea of what to do, yeah, I think that's... That's understandable to call out. Hard to argue with the pure logic of a kid. No kidding. Excuse me, but are you two the CPU candidates of Louis? Yep, I'm Ram, and this is Rom. We're the CPU's awesome twin sisters. Now it's a good time to introduce these two, since we've seen them in and out of HDD. So, why don't we meet these adorable twins, shall we? Rom and Ram are blonde little sisters and the CPU candidates of Loi. Unlike the other nations, Loi has two candidates. Twins, in fact. Which is rare, but for Nintendo, not surprising. Given that Nintendo has made many handheld consoles, most of their oldest game consoles being handheld, in fact, many other game companies made their own handhelds to compete with them. But these two are based on the various forms of the Nintendo DS with the twins themselves representing the double screens of the system. Now these two, like their sister, are the youngest looking. They are literal children, looking like they possibly reached the double digits of age. Young as they are, like any child, they have spunk and energy. They like to play games, draw pictures, and just be kids overall. They also have a very simple view of things and very childish mindsets. Ram is the younger twin, the pink twin who is rowdier and more energetic usually coming up with mischievous ideas and pranks to pull on others, including their big sister and the Basilicom staff. Upon first meeting Blonde, her first introduction to her was her throwing a book at her. Ouch! What the hell was that? Yay! Strike one! That looked painful. Now, now. Ram, that wasn't nice of you. Books are for reading, not throwing. So yeah, she's a little on the naughty side. Unlike Ram, her older sister Rom, the blue twin, is usually very shy, timid, and just follows along with whatever Ram does. Given the two of them only have each other, Rom doesn't really have the luxury of thinking or deciding for herself, as Ram usually takes the lead on their childish activities, and she simply follows along. She's also a crybaby who usually leans on others for protection and to feel safe. These two are fairly close with each other, but have always been alone. Even with Blonde, who hardly shows them attention, having to have Mina, the oracle, babysit them. So, let's see what happens when somebody outside their nation decides to come into their lives. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> She's so adorable. Rama's is so cute. I'm so happy we ran into each other. Um, I'm a CPU candidate too. My sister is Neptune and... Neptune? She was from... Oh, Planet 2. Guess we know which one's the smarter one. Oh, I knew that. That means you're a Planetune CPU. Right. I'm trying to save all our sisters, and so... That also means you're my enemy. 
I guess we also know which one's the more immature one. Enemy, enemy! Unfortunately, this one's so shy that she just follows along. Huh? No, not at all. Why am I your enemy? You're a CPU from really far away, so you must have come here to take away all our shares. Some CPUs do that. I read it in a book. Keyword ROM, some CPUs, not all. No, no, I'd never do that. Please, just listen to... I'm gonna go all out, you dummy. We're fighting them? Wait, stop! Okay. I'll take care of you, personally. We're fighting them. Interesting. Okay, so... Guess I'll do the same thing I did before. It's my turn. Let's get this going. Sheesh, I have you have you the worst anytime. SP. You have the Remember worst the use of your SP. Alright, so tip for any new players, uh Rom the blue one can heal. So as much as I don't want to attack Rom, I'm sorry. It's the game's rules. We have to get rid of the healer first. Sorry, Rom. Please don't take this personally. Neptur took literally zero damage there. You want your oh. shot? Hey! No! I'm the boss! Why would you It looks like the damage is fatal, but it's honestly not at all fatal. So yeah, everyone, level 25 is definitely a good level to fight this boss. As for the experience, you can get it right here in this area. You just gotta know which enemies to fight. So Red is almost dead, and I'm honestly debating on whether or not I should let her die because of the e experience salt. We don't need her. We don't need Red here. She can totally die. It's totally fine. However, there is something that I would like to let you guys know. So in this game, you know how people, how, you know how the characters usually have EX drives? Well, unfortunately, Nipgear, Kampa, and IF will not get their EX drives until some event in the game happens. But side characters like Red do have an EX drive or a special. So, before she dies, why don't we let her use it just to see what it looks like. Why don't we use it on... Yeah, we gotta get rid of Rom. Sorry, Rom. Don't take this personally. Here it is! Yeah! No need to be shy. So many toys. A frisbee, a cup and ball. Many so many toys. Oh my god, Noodle! Noodle! Hey! Time to show you my stuff! Hit him! I'll take care of the rest. It's my turn! That did literally nothing, but whatever, we showed it off. So yeah, Red, you are really useless. <laughs> okay, Red. Oh. Shoot. Okay, Red and Compa are dead. That's not good. I do want Compa to get some, so yes. I am going to be... Like I'm gonna be biased no, here. Okay, Rom has been taken down, and now it is time Everyone to... Everyone be healthy! I'm... Blow away! What are you doing? It's my turn. I can still do this! Alright, Ram. Playtime's <laughs> over, you little brat. I need to be as good as my sister. Oh, oh, can't hurt a little... Nephew is literally not taking any damage whatsoever. You can now see who the superior CPU is, huh? Looks like I should have healed that turn. Well, so, okay. Ram seems to have a huge grudge against Nephew, which is fine. She keeps hitting Nephew. It does make perfect sense, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal now. Up, oh, now she's hitting Compa. Okay, now she's a threat. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, I really have to take you down. I'm skipping. I'm skipping this. Come on, Compa, finish her off. Never mind. Up. Okay. I have finished. Yep. I have you do it. I didn't expect that. Woo! Underestimated the fight. That's 
a lot. Okay, two cord armlets. That's really good. A revival pencil. Is that some sort of revival thing? Interesting. Is that better than a fragment? Ooh, an 8K experience. That's pretty good. I think we're all gonna level up after this. Except Red. Level up! Level up! Yeah! Yes, screw you, Red. We're leaving you behind. Ow! Oh, jeez! <laughs> you made Rob cry, you jerks! You're a pack of meanies! Oh, yeah. I definitely know what kind of child you are. You're the kind that get on my nerves. That's not very fair. You both attacked us first, so... Children are hypocrites. Especially if they don't get their way. This isn't over yet. We'll beat you up real good next time we meet. Next time. And there they go. Those children weren't listening to you at all. When do children ever listen, though? That's the thing. Now I see why Kay wished us luck. I still think Kay is more of a pain than they are, because Kay is an adult. These are children. I can excuse their weird-ass behavior. I can excuse behavior if they're young enough. Alright, back to Louis. All that excitement set us back, but we finally made it to the Basilicom. Pardon us. Anyone here? Yes. Welcome to Louise Basilicom. Oh my. Forgive my presumption, but are you Planetunes? Her voice sounds very familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it. Yes, I'm Nepgear, the CPU candidate of Planetoon. We came here today because we want to ask for help. For a CPU candidate to come all this way must mean there's some very important matter to discuss. Pardon my manners. I am Mina Nishizawa, Louise Oracle. How may I be of service? I see. So you are seeking our mascot's power. So? Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do to help you right now. Uh-oh. Why not? Louise's mascot has a very important mission. If it leaves, our nation will be swallowed up by unprecedented chaos. Mind if I ask what its mission is? I do apologize, but the importance of its mission is so great that all relevant information is classified. But there are bad people out there trying to find and beat the mascots into a pulp! If she can't tell us anything, we'll just have to track it down the old-fashioned way. I trust that no harm will come to it should you find it, so I have no reason to stop you. Okay. It would be rude of me to shoo away such well-traveled guests without giving you something. How about a story? Do you know Louise lore regarding the deity of sin, R4? Oh my god, we're actually getting lore, you guys. That's a very rare case for Neptunia. I bet it's gonna be lore that has no connections, though. I've never heard any stories about it, no. R4 is said to have been born in Louis. Before I continue, do you know what the deity of sin is? So R4 was originally in Louis. That's interesting. Now that I think about it... No, not really. ASIC is trying to revive it, so I figure it's some kind of god that'll grant them power. No, such a convenient god does not exist in this world. In fact, deity is hardly an appropriate descriptor. The deity of sin exists solely to bring destruction and chaos. No mortal can control its power. It is even said that game industry was on the brink of disaster when the deity of sin was first born. Game industry's destruction? So why would these ASIC people want to revive a big baddie like that? Yeah, wouldn't they be hurt too? ASIC doesn't truly wish to revive it. It's a tool, a ploy used to increase their organization's clout. Of course, because who in their right mind would tell lies to get clout? Who would ever do such a thing? If they had done the proper research on the deity of sin, they wouldn't spread word of it among the public. Maybe the lower-ranking members of ASIC are being used too. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. If so, I question their leader's sanity. This would ultimately lead to their own destruction as well. Have you ever considered that maybe their leader has zero sanity left in them? I hope this 
story helped to shed a bit of light on the situation. Not really, but thanks for the lesson, I guess. A being that acts as a harbinger of destruction. R4. So that's what ASIC worships. Wow! I know I'm short, but this is going way over my head. So, like, what do we do now? I'm not surprised at all. Nothing's changed. We just have to beat up ASIC, their leader, and whatever else gets in our way. Oh, okay. Much easier to understand. You're kind of my type too, Iffy. She sure as hell was your type way, way back in a period of time that you probably don't remember because for all we know, you're an alternate version of her. Mina, food! Hungry. Of course. Now, now. Mind your manners, kids. We have guests right now. So could you please wait a bit longer? Guests? Oh, here we go. She's telling lies. Uh, CPU dummy? Heavens, child, that is quite rude. Why are you giving me Toriel vibes all of a sudden? Actually, just before we came here... Uh-oh. Are you gonna tell the truth, Nepgear? Oh, now I see. They misbehaved and attacked you, did they? I am truly sorry. I wouldn't really say they misbehaved. I would say one misbehaved and the other just went along with her. So the real culprit is the pink one. No, no. Please, there's no need to apologize. No. As their guardian and educator, I fear I must extend my apologies on their behalf. Now then, what do you say, kids? Lame. Why do I gotta apologize? I'm not saying anything to that CPU dummy. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not what you're supposed to say in this situation. Try again. Hm. They were so mean. And they were like, we're gonna attack you for no reason now. Ha ha ha. I really hate hypocrites, but you're a child, so I'll let it pass. We lost. It really hurt. What do good little girls say? Uh-oh, she giving them the stare. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Really. Sorry. Did anyone else just feel a very dark, scary aura? You probably need someone like that to nanny these two. Children are bad enough, but imagine children with their amount of power. They're probably even worse. Don't get me wrong, I love children, but they're a handful. I guess there's more than meets the eye with Louise Oracle, too. Please don't worry about it. We actually wanted to ask them for help, too. As their guardian, I must vehemently refuse that request. As you can see, they're still children. But if they wanted to assist you as fellow CPU candidates, perhaps I could make an exception. No! I don't play with dummies! Uh-huh. Seems hopeless. Whatever. We said what we wanted and got what we could. So let's go. I'm sorry we couldn't offer much, but if I may warn you, Louis has had a recent uptick in crime. Rumors have even begun, saying that it heralds the start of something unprecedented. Do be careful. We will. Thank you. I hope we meet again soon. Well, Mina was a very polite oracle. Good to know. Alright everyone, that's where we're going to stop for today. I think that is a really good place to stop. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I hope to see you in the next episode. See you next time on Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth to Sisters Generation. I, we're gonna see what happens next. We honestly don't know what the heck's gonna happen. But I guess that's...